Fairfax of Mars. And this story is from Germany. This is an entry in our uh, Islam in the West series. Imagine how fragile these poor deers are. The sight of a pork sausage can give them the vapors. Unfortunately, all too many of them find jihad suicide bombings far less upsetting. In any case, this is the same old story. When in Muslim countries, one should adapt one's behavior to suit Muslim sensibilities. And when in non-Muslim countries, one should adapt one's behaviors to suit Muslim sensibilities. The headline here is German cafes <coughs> are uh, not selling pork sausages in order to spare the feelings of Muslim refugees. Well, you know, if you're a private cafe and you can do whatever you want, I don't care. That's a business decision. Government's saying, hold on a minute, uh, this meat is part of our culture here, and why is this being taken down? CD use Westwood hosting Division wants to ensure pork sausage, pork stays on menus at workplaces and school caf canteens, arguing meat belongs in, to the German culture. The idea has been mocked on social media. Regional arm of Chancellor Ang Angela Merkel's CDU announced plans on Tuesday to ensure that pork continues to be available at public canteens as well as child daycare centers and schools across the North German state. Well, good for her. I, I have to give credit where credit's due, and she's right on this. I don't want to force private organizations to do that which they don't want to do. I mean, well, as far as public schools and stuff, that's another story. Most of this is uh, government stuff anyway. CDU Parliamentary Leader Daniel Gunther bemoaned on Tuesday an increasing number of canteens, nurseries, and schools removing pork from their menu due to religious considerations. Protection of minorities, including for religious reasons, that must not mean that the majority is overhauled in the, their free decision by ill-conceived consideration, Gunther said arguing that tolerance also means the appreciation and sufferance of other food cultures and lifestyles. Thank you, sir. Gunther told local German newspaper Lübecker Nachrichten that at least one nursery in every voting district has stopped serving pork after taking Muslim children into consideration. Consumption of pork belongs to our culture, he argued, uh, adding that those who didn't want to eat pork didn't have to. No one should be obliged to do so, he said, but we also don't want the majority having to refrain from pork. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, this is finally, we're getting some common sense from some politicians. I'm impressed. But listen to this. CDU's proposal was met with a wave of mockery on Tuesday, particularly on Twitter where hashtag Schweinfleisch, meaning pork duty, became Germany's top trending hashtag by late Tuesday afternoon. Company with an image of the words worst case scenario, worst meaning sausage. Germans, Germany's Green Party tweeted, now we finally know what the CDU meant with dominant culture. Well, they're doing the right thing for a change. I'm impressed. Uh, thank you. Oh, uh, I don't know what else to say. They're doing, the German government's actually doing the right thing. This, this is a rarity. This is unusual. Thank you anyway, though. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.